hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to discuss the origin of language we'll see different theories about how language came into being how and uh, when it began so we'll start by origin of language so that uh, no one knows exactly how uh, human beings came up with the spoken language so there are many hypotheses and theories about the origin and some says that the language began between 100,000 and 50,000 years ago and with the advent with the coming of modern men known as homo sapiens you know about the evolution of human beings they go through different stages and the final version that is us we are homo sapiens so this is well before the invention of written language about 5000 years ago and we have a direct evidence and artifacts about writing the written language so evidences of uh, cavemen they try that they write different inscriptions on stones which portray all form of written language so there are different theories about how language came into being so the first theory is known as the divine source you can also call this as god given language so it basically revolves around the idea that the language the we spoke it's god given given us by a divine source that is god god has bestowed us with the ability to speak so it's talk about genesis yes genesis which is the creation of men god created in islamic point of view god created adam and bestow him with the blessings and uh, which is spoken language is among one of the gifts and uh, it is also mentioned in quran that uh, adam informed them of their names and when he said inform them of their names and in hindu belief that language came from saraswati which is who was the wife of brahman who was considered to be creator of universe according to hindus and divine source it attempts to find a divine god-given language and samthik he carried out an experiment with two babies and uh, he deprived them of human contact he just keep the babies away from any human contact and uh, so that to try to observe that what if if we disconnect someone from uh, language around them should they speak any language or not to see that he conducted this experiment and they utter the babies they utter they produce they say word bakos which means bread in phrygian language so basically they they just lived among the gods and they just learned this word bakos bread in phrygian language and another experiment by king james he conducted uh, conducted another experiment on kids and he reported that uh, they were reported to speak some hebrew words so they consider this when they learn these words automatically naturally without any human contact so they call this as a divine source so the fact is that children who are deprived of any language contact cannot learn language yes as we know that if we if by birth if a child is kept away from any human contact then probably he should not he must not learn any language language is learned through interaction through communication as you observe that the babies newborn babies when they are learning language they just speak some sounds initial stage they utter some sounds and then practice the syllables basic syllables with their parents such as ba pa and then later this mm, sounds take the shape of words so another theory that is the natural sound source 
so according to this theory language emerged from natural sounds so some primitive means the ancient words are considered to be imitation of the natural sounds so that people heard what the people heard around them the natural sounds they imitated they copied that sound and this phenomena imitation of sound is uh, associated with so just they associate these sounds with the object that are producing it and the natural sounds for example a bird make is argued to have been used to describe a particular animal and this phenomena is known as onomatopoeia and uh, this means that the sound resembles the object that are producing it for example in many languages such as we see the words drip click meow honk kakko etc so we associate this word meow with cat that the cat is producing this sound and uh, yes as i already told you that phenomena is known as onomatopoeia and uh, this sound is known as onomatopoeic sound in language and some theories of origin of language were invented by max muller and the theory very famous theory known as bow wow theory and according to this language began when our ancestors started imitating the natural sounds around them and the first speech was obviously imitation copying of that sound and that phenomena is onomatopoeic and which is marked by echoing of that natural sound such as mo meow splash kaku bang and another famous theory is yohi ho theory and it was based on the notion on the idea that speech arouse speech begin from physical environmental needs so it basically emphasize on that speech is our basic need and uh, we you must learn language to survive which produce communal rhythmic grunts which later on dropped into chant so basically this idea says that the sound involve the sound the speech we produce it involve physical effort we need some physical efforts to produce a uh, sound a spoken language and another theory is oral gesture source and it says that uh, originally it is a set of physical gestures was developed as a means of communication and then set of oral gestures thus especially those involving mouth and it developed for expressing ideas yes obviously we use gestures the signs to convey our message in today's world as well and some physical gestures of hands yes we try to convey different messages through our bodies part such as using hands and physical gestures using mouth as well so let's you you see in different shapes of this mouth try to convey different things and speech sound we produce using mouth obviously physical adaptation source it says that human beings are genetically with some physical features that are responsible for producing speech sounds so physical adaptation it says that we human beings have specific organs for speech physical adaptations okay that other beings don't have and you you know about speech organs that important part of speech organs the oral cavity larynx voice box which is very important and then comes yes the mouth teeth everything they they play major part in articulation of sounds and the genetic or innate source so genetic or innate innate is an ability that we have that we possess by birth so it says that we possess speech by birth it's come through our parents as a genetically inherited so according to noam chomsky you must learn 
uh, about him very famous in linguistics and Chomsky and he says that language is partly innate and partly acquired yes obviously it's true that we acquired we cannot say that language is totally innate okay the fact is that it is acquired obviously we acquired or learn any language the innate uh, language that we learn is comes from our parents what the language our parents speak but we acquire different language by interacting with different people and the environment in which we live so yes we all are by or multilingual and we speak more than one language at the same time yes as far as i am concerned i spoke uh, more than three or four languages at the same time and in a conclusion in a nutshell we says uh, we conclude that the crux whole crux of this whole topic is that uh, the theories that do not precisely demonstrate what is the origin exactly it is unknown but what is clear cut in the past people were only able to do some gestures and produce a specific sounds so that's all about today's hope you understand the notes are in the description just click, click the link thank you for watching